Okay, ready? Today's day, August 16, 2015, time 9.40am. Okay, uh, this is a 3 year old cat, right? Yes. Male, not neutered. Nah. Cat went for boarding for 5 days. That was for one week ago, right? Mm, yeah. And it came back with difficulty in urination and also pee everywhere nah, outside the, the toilet. So these are the two conditions. According to the owner, there is no blood, nah. no blood, right? Yes. Uh, but sometimes blood cannot be seen just a little bit. Mm. But anyway, we, we don't have a urine sample, so we didn't do urine test, but we, we did the x-ray after palpation. Now, palpation, palpation of the kidney area is normally on the upper part of it. Now. Then you can see that the cat was not happy. The cat was not happy yesterday, I think you saw it. Mm. Uh, so the cat was not happy. So definitely there was something in the kidney. So this palpation is of course, you have to, the vet has to do it many thousands of times, then he knows exactly what happened. Now, some owners complained, uh, yesterday there was another owner who says that maybe I was pressing too hard. So I told her, even if a normal kidney you will press very hard, which I don't do, there, there's no, no uh, pain, uh, it doesn't bother the cat. Uh. Of course, we don't press too hard, we just press just enough to see the pain. So, so there was a dog with uh, smelly urine, yesterday there was a case. And uh, she saw three or four beds already, but uh, but uh, I mean that was the case. Uh, but anyway, bladder palpation is part of the, the diagnosis. So after that, the, the cat showed pain here, and then we did the X-ray. Now as you can see, this one is a good example, you know, because normally it's not so clear, not so so sharp. Now you can see that this kidney, there are two kidneys, uh, the left and the right. So when they, the left kidney and the right kidney, so when they overlap. When overlap, you can see uh, this is another one. You see, what, the left one is further back a bit, and the right one is further forward a bit. Uh. So when they overlap, of course, there is a, a bit of the, the uh, density uh, because when things overlap, you can see. But this one is very interesting because this kidney, you can see, is uh, enlarged, uh, uh, much enlarged, uh, and also it confirms the pain. Uh. So this shows that. This kidney is uh, recently enlarged, so so it's not all white. If it's quite long, the, the whole, whole kidney will be white, like this color, white color. So so this is early, uh, early stage because it's only how many days? Only? About five. This could be in urination. How many About days? Just a week ago. Uh, a week no, a few days. days. Uh, a few days. Uh, a few days, around two, three, so, uh, two days. So two this is a lecture view. Uh, so she came early, so it, it's not so bad yet. Yeah. Only vomiting one time only, right? Yeah and drink a lot of water, like, mm. uh, this is a sign of kidney disease confirmed by x-ray now. Now we look at the ventral dorsal vein upside down. Huh? Now you can see, you can see the kidney. Huh? This one is, this is the right hand side. Huh? This is the left side. Left side you can see definitely this kidney is really big. You can see it's very big. Uh, this kidney is very big there. Eh? Yeah. It's almost like uh, shadowy kind of orange or no, not orange. Uh, this kidney is a bean shape. The kidney is being shaped, uh, so you can see that yeah. this is a very uh, good x-ray. Now, the other kidney, this is the right kidney. Normally, the right kidney is further forward, the left kidney is further backward. That's why uh, when you palpate, normally you, you can palpate the left kidney easier than the right kidney. The right kidney also is, is radial dense, eh? radial dense. Uh, this is part. So this confirms to the owner that uh, the cat had uh, nephritis. Uh. Now, the thing is that this cat has a very good appetite. You can see the stomach is full of uh, food. Uh. This is stomach. So this shows that the cat actually has good appetite. Still eating very well, right? Yes. Uh, so the x-ray shows that this cat luckily is not very sick in the sense that you can see the stomach is full of food. And uh, the intestine is full of gas. Uh. Uh, yes, so that's why the cat didn't uh, have much motion, right? Not, not much. Uh, mm, bit by bit. Uh, bit by bit. So there's an uh, intestinal upset. Normally, if they have kidney disease, that uh, they, they sometimes have uh, about what we call enteritis because of the toxins. Uh. Yeah. Although the, the signs are diarrhea or loose stools, but actually the problem is kidney. Uh. But uh, to the owner, it's loose stools. Uh. Now you can see the kidney better. I don't see the intestines here there. You can see the intestine full of gas, and full of gas. This inflammation, uh, there's some stools here. Then. So this morning we passed out a few. This is the large intestine, the stools, so we passed out a few. Overnight we passed out. And, uh, the bladder, you can see there's no, no, no white, white spot, uh, so there's no, no, uh, 
no stones or, or bigger than stones. Otherwise, you will see uh, the bladder is. Uh, you can see the bladder full, of full bladder. But this one, that that, there isn't anything. So the main problem is the kidneys. Due to uh, infections that the body can uh, okay.